An animal owner in Grovetown now behind bars. Neighbors and rescue groups want to know what will happen to the dozens of horses that are still on his Rockford Drive property. News Channel 6's Ashley Osborne has the update. Nobody that's a true horse person would ever allow their horses to be in these conditions. What started as reports of possible animal neglect took a strange turn when we learned one of the property owners, Jose Reveron George, was on the run, but not for animal abuse. He had a court date in January for failure to restrain horses. He's accused of calling in a bomb threat instead of attending and is facing felony terroristic threat charges. Tina Pondi questions what happens to the animals now? It's one round barrel per horse per month. That's about the best way to describe what they need for proper care. The Columbia County Sheriff's Office tells us animal services is responsible for making sure these animals are fed and cared for, but Pondi says it's not enough. As long as there's hay here, they will do nothing. Neighbor Cindy Perez says multiple people warned her about Reverend George when she moved in. The two of them made a point of saying be careful. Court records show the female property owner, Michelle Charlemagne, was arrested last year and charged with six misdemeanors, including fleeing and attempting to elude, driving with a suspended, canceled, or revoked registration, and removing or affixing license plate with intent to conceal. Perez says the 50 plus acre property owned by an elderly man before Charlemagne and Reverend George. They ended up convincing him to sign his property to them in exchange for care. The story is that shortly thereafter they put him in a nursing home. Tax records list the property sale as zero dollars and show the deed as QC, short for quick claim, which is often used when a property transfers ownership without being sold. Perez is unsure if anyone lives there since she doesn't think there's running water. I asked them, do you not have water on your property? And she said, no, no water. So I would give them a gallon of water and give the kids cups of water. The sheriff's office confirms Reverend George has multiple children, but says DFAX is not involved and there's no evidence to suggest they should be. In Grovetown, Ashley Osborne, WJBF News Channel 6. Members of various rescue organizations want to know the long term solution for the animals. They plan to bring their concerns to Columbia County Commissioners on Tuesday.